Hey everyone, my name is Yuri and we're here and this is week number two of the UBL and we are up against Made Pokemaster and his Kentucky Toracads and uh, this is overall a really really tough week, a really tough build to kind of put together here but there's, I feel like there's nothing else left but to just get into team preview here and I'm gonna get the get it ready for a screenshot but he just has so many mods that, that deal directly with mine and once again, a lot of my mods are going to kind of be out of position a little bit. Okay, so right off the bat, we'll see the Mill Tank. Not 100% expected, but we will see the Mill Tank. Salazzle, Melmetal, Garchomp, Slowking, and Scrafty. So right off the bat, no Fairies, no Sylveon or Confei. Uh, no Tangela. No Tangela is very, very interesting. No Rotom is very, very interesting. So my Celesteela is, is in a really interesting position, except for the Salazzle. Um, and obviously, the Melmetal probably has Thunder Punch. What else are we looking at here? What else? Yeah, no Comfy and no Tangela are the standouts here. I kind of want to lead off with Zerud again. Uh, this time I do have U-Turn, but I kind of want to make that lead again. And I think I will. But one thing that I want to get back into the habit of doing is just kind of locking in the locking in the team but taking a second uh, and letting the time run down just to look over the matchup a little bit so i feel like i deal with most leads reasonably well um let me see here i can you turn out on most things the slaz would be really problematic but overall miltank would make the most sense as a lead but Regardless, my my scarfed my scarfed EQ does a lot from the from the pincer. Pincer does a decent amount for me here, not the most, but not I, I, not the worst. The biggest thing that I'm kind of interested in here leads off with the slow king. So immediately putting this thing in a little bit of pressure here, um, he could teleport, just, just assuming that this could be Rocky Helmet teleport, like a regular slow bro, but he would assume that I want to click U-turn here. Um, I wonder if he expected anything from me. Maybe he's expecting me to want to leave the off there with the sand slash, but it's not the most likely here. But let's see here. It does go into the middle tank, so potentially Sap Zipper. It's not impossible. Now this is Rocky Helmet. And this is about 20-ish percent. Which I believe... I mean, just based on that, it should confirm, like, max defense. Yeah, yeah, close to it. So, let's see here. I kind of want to go into... My Rotom here. Just to... Put a little bit of pressure on with a Volt Switch. But let me see here. Yeah, I think this just puts on the most amount of pressure possible. If anything, if anything, Rotom could go for a Hydro Pump here. I think I will. I think I will. I actually do need Rotom for a decent amount here. So this might not be like the optimal decision making here, but obviously the 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 only thing they would want to hard switch into, into this would be the uh, the slow king in particular, but that's not ideal for him. We miss high trump, which is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. But now I definitely want to volt switch out of here. Um, he could play off of this hard and go for the guard chomp, but. It doesn't seem the most likely thing in the world. Now, uh, I can kind of play around with this Sand Slash, try to get up my own hazards. It'll kind of give me a free turn there a little bit. So I'm going to have to figure out how to play this. Do I want to try to get spikes up first, or do I want to spin away first? I think no matter what he brings in, it just lets me get a spin off anyway, so I can kind of spike. And especially as this mill tank gets lower, it kind of frees me up to make this spikes play a little bit more and more. Go straight into the slow king, which is fine. Honestly, this slow king could be 
this slow king could be super offensive. But I don't think it's the most likely thing in the world. I honestly want to click Super Fang if I'm being real real. But if I'm looking at my Sand Slash here... Yeah, we should take at least one Skull the most of the time. And if we do, then we probably just Super Fang on the next turn, right? Or we get up another Spike. That's always possible. But assuming we take one, and we do... We'll probably just get up another Spike, right? Or just or a Super Fang. Or I click Super Fang. I think Super Fang makes a ton of... Well, Knock Off also makes a ton of sense, in, in all honesty. Knock Off actually does uh, pretty much just as much damage as as uh, the Super Fang does. So I'll probably just go for that here. But a second Spike is super... Is super... Um, It's super tempting, but I think knockoff is ultimately always going to be the better play. It's a very defensive slow king. It, it is assault vested, but also very defensive. Uh, Ice Beam is fine. Ice Beam is fine. It does allow me to bring in the Zerud, and the Zerud is going to bait in the Miltink again. The Zerud is going to bait in the Miltink again. This could make me want to make this play here, but knowing that the but knowing how defensive this slow king is. Knowing just how defensive this slow king is. Uh, what's what would be the primary switch into a pincer here? Cause I kinda wanna just get rocks up and go. But that's probably not the best. Um Knowing that this thing is specially defensive, but or somewhat or just salt vested. I could try to vault. No, vault switching won't do enough here. So I have to make some other type of play. I think I just have to make the super obvious play and get some more banded damage off here. I think that's really the only play that I have right now. And it's not it, and it's not great. It, it doesn't look particularly pretty. But for right now, I think I, I have to kind of use what I have in front of me. And I think, yeah, U-turn even threatens a KO here. You could want to stay in, but U-turn should threaten a KO here regardless. Does withdraw again, which is fine. Uh, brings out the Scrafty, which is also fine. This will allow me to get a bunch of damage off and go into... It does kind of let me go into Cell Steel, huh? But this actually lets me go into... Mm, I don't know. Can I tell anything from that Scrafty? This could be a V-Create here, honestly. Right? right. That's a set that I have. Yeah, this could be a V-Create right now, right? Um... Yeah, there's not really that big of a... Well, the biggest downside of, of V-Create is that it allows in the mill tank, and then the mill tank... Um, gets a moderately free stealth rock off. I could go into Pinsir. What's Pinsir looking like? No, Pinsir's not doing enough. I mean, the Cell Seal will do it off. Cell Seal doesn't either. Which means I have to make a decision now. I probably just do this. But I don't want to get knocked off. Yeah, this, this just knocks me off. Hmm. Not the strongest play I've ever made, but if I'm gonna get knocked off anyway, I might as well at least get Stealth Rocks up, right? Might as well at least get Stealth Rocks up. He could fear. He could fear the close combat, but it's, it's already a non-issue here. Um, if I did have close combat, then that's that's probably just the best play I have available to me. But regardless, this will allow me to get some type of damage off with the X-Scissor. Um, honestly, in this case, you know, baiting in the mill tank would be best case scenario. But it does leave me significantly softer to the Salazzle. I don't think this was the best play I could have made in this situation, clearly. Uh, I think probably the best play would have just been going into the Cell Seal. But Cell Seal is such a tough play to make. 
because I don't know how specially defensive this is, and sell and and it can easily take a moderately um a moderately a moderately specially defensive Scrafty can can pretty easily take an air slash from even my reasonably offensive Cell Stealer. And that's just just a huge risk to make when Celsila, you know, feels important to me. But I guess this will be a one for one. It does again, kind of allow in the mill tank, and I don't know if I should play off of that at all. He's continually going for the ice punches. I can go into this thing and click U-turn. Or I can go into this thing and click Volt Switch. If I do this and, and click U-turn, then I go into Zerud and Salazzle comes in. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way to prevent the. I don't think there's any way to prevent the Mill Tank from wanting to come in and set up rocks, which is unfortunate. But I think it's just kind of how this matchup has to go. Oh, but Moxie. Actually, Moxie might change some things. Moxie might unironically change this Miltank matchup. Yeah, allowing this in is honestly fine. Uh, this is honestly fine compared to allowing in most other things. I think of anything, if he like clicks subs or anything. Yeah, he just gets earthquaked. And now I don't have anything that inherently deals with this thing. However, uh, this does allow me a reasonably free hydro pump here. He could He could protect if he's like the super, you know, stally Salazzle set. But if he does, if he's not the super stally Salazzle set, then something. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, I maybe should have gone in, in the Celestia. If anything, Celestia has to make him worried about a, a weakness policy set, a potential weakness policy set. So maybe that would have been better off for me, and at least make him think about the weakness policy set. But uh, for right now, it's not how this is gonna go. Uh, but I should be able to just Volt Switch out on this, which I feel like I have to now. Uh, if anything, he probably subs. I go for the Volt Switch, and I go out into Cell Steela. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. That's absolutely how this has to uh, play out. Because now... Now he has to fear the weakness policy set for sure. Um, biggest thing that I'm that I would fear coming in is the actually Salazzle against. What am I doing? Oh, I'm awful on time. I'm trash on time right now. Let's go for the flamethrower, but getting the Salazzle out of the way is honestly huge for me. Because most of the rest of my mons are are slow and strong. Uh, but yeah, I am absolutely awful on time. I might genuinely lose on time, but uh, I think I have most of what I need here. It will be a special attack rise. Which makes him have to respect some a, a number of things here. Um, if the Melmetal comes in, that's incredibly concerning. But at the same time, if the Melmetal comes in, then... Well, if the Melmetal comes in, then it reveals like a pretty max speed Melmetal. Uh, Garchomp has a hard time coming in. 
because I might be out of range of Fire Blast potentially. Maybe maybe mid worked out Fire Blast to be a 2 KO. Goes into Slow King, which is fine. Um, so we'll take some chip damage here. And if I can kind of deal with this, I mean, a, a, a flinch here would be nuts. Absolutely nuts. Goes for the Fire Blast. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. I mean, not great, but we're, we're still doing okay. I'm going to get this in as quickly as possible. But yeah, the fact that, that the Assault Vest was down is huge for me. Um, I still kind of struggle against the Melmetal. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Either Melmetal or Garchomp are going to be my most difficult kind of hurdles left yet. But I think I have the tools. I mean, maybe I do. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Goes in the mill tank, which is interesting. Goes in the mill tank, which is interesting. Um, I feel like I just have to click air slash here. I would be surprised. Yeah, goes for the seismic toss. That's totally fair. It's totally, totally fair. And now. I think I can, um, I just want, I just have to make sure, I, I'm, I shouldn't be using this much time, but I just have to make sure, because I'm pretty positive that my Zerud has been doing enough damage. Uh, let me think here. Or is this a better play? Could this be a better play? Or could this be the better play? <laughs> Uh, Rotom Wash. Volt Switch doesn't quite do it. So I think I have to go in here. I think I have to go in here. And click U-turn. Probably into Rotom Wash. And that probably... Gives me the best chance to win here, right? I think this is my best chance to win. Oh, that's painful. The mill tank set that I was looking at, I clicked on defensive mill tank, and it wasn't the defensive mill tank that I expected to see. That's really difficult. That's genuinely tough. Okay, I probably get seismic tossed, and it's probably fine. Body slam. I mean, a para would obviously be you know, close to worst case scenario here. No para. Okay, still same play. Except my Victini takes damage. But obviously, if it comes down to Victini Mel Metal, then that's like the least of my worries. Uh, I don't like that that this had to happen, but if it had to happen, it's fine. This either one of the two mo or two, two remaining mons can win, but I think this probably probably beats out the Melmetal, right? And if it does, then I probably Volt Switch into Victini, click V-Create. Beats out the Garchomp. That's super interesting. That's super duper interesting. Because now I just click Hydro Pump for sure, for sure. Swords hands. Okay, well that's not ideal. Uh, let's see here. I still have to two hit with Hydro Pump. So I have to land two Hydro Pumps, obviously. And I actually probably don't take this. Which sucks. Actually, no, okay, so I probably do... Well, it depends on how many times Skill Shot hits. But if skill shot hits more than, I guess, three times, then I just lose. I just lose. And I have to land another Hydro Pump after that. But as long as I land this Hydro Pump, I think I win. And if I don't, then obviously I don't. But 
one would hope that I that I land this. Goes for the scale shot. Yep. Okay. We're taking it. We're taking it. Only three. Only three. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Now please land this. Please, Rotom, land this. Oh my God, we land it. Oh my God. I can't imagine a scenario where he takes that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And now, I mean, for the sake of differential, we probably have to I, I admit. I apologize in advance if you see this, but I probably have to volt switch out into Victini and go for it that way. Uh, let's see. I'm curious as to what my metal is looking like in the face of Victini. Yeah, Vikri should always do it. And yeah, I'm sorry, but I know you're never going to... I know you're never going to Earthquake into this into this Rotom, so I feel reasonably free to do this. And even if my Victini does get knocked out, then I go into Zerud in close combat, right? Um, actually, actually, Banded Double Iron Bash could still do it. Banded Double... Banded Double Iron Bash could still do it. But anything... Most things that's not banded, I should take this. We don't take it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Zerud Close Combat should... Um, should, by every indication, close this one out. And if it doesn't, then we just Vault Switch again. And it's mostly fine. But, yeah, I mean, there's no way around that. That one was a stressful one. I think... I think... Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat speechless. This matchup obviously came down to a lot. And I'm really sorry for having to play this kind of differential game. Um, But... Yeah, like I said, it just came down to a lot. That mill tank was super good. It put me it put so much pressure on me. I think ultimately hazard stacking won the day a little bit. I really had no good answers to the to the Salazon. I made a really bad play, kind of blundering my pincer in the, in the way that I did. I think just Aukaberry Celesteela was really once the pincer went down, it was really the only way that I had to manage um that Celesteela. And yeah, my team just didn't deal well with rocks. So if that mill tank found some extra turns, and and there's the obvious point that I blundered pieces as well in, in that I um he, he couldn't have known that I would have made such a bad misplay by not reading the showdown set because of time pressure. So I go into Zerud, I click U-turn, expecting it to KO the mill tank. It doesn't KO the mill tank, so now my Victini has to take much more damage than it does, and then we're in, the, we're in this whole cycle situation. And that's never great at all. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be how this week happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL as well as the ICBA. Hopefully soon, but once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and once again, out.